Oh, I do like it. From Hollywood, California, Meltdown Comics, the Nerd Melt Theater, Harmontown, is now in session. Please welcome to the stage the mayor of Harmontown, Harmonious Monk himself, Mr. Dan Harmon. That was nice. Did the did the Beatles give us uh, give us some music? Do, do, do you know who that is? That's who is that? Titanic Sinclair. Oh, oh no, that's, 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 Titan- that's, that's our, our friend, friend Titanic Sinclair, Sinclair from uh, yeah from 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 Fibble Dibbles from from from, from uh, Frisbee Golf and the and the and the, and the fuck around trio. <laughs> so hardcore Har- Harmon Town fans will remember. <laughs> <laughs> we'll remember the uh, Titanic and the uh, uh, Mars Mars Visigoth. What's the uh, Argo. Mars Argo? Mars Visigoth. <laughs> <laughs> that was the that was the really early stuff. The love the lovely Mars Argo uh, and uh, Titanic were uh, on our show when when they released that song right, that became yeah. an unintentional internet sensation because it used the iPhone's default ringtone as like a melody, <laughs> and some people were just like, "I hope you die in fire." Uh, <laughs> What's up? That was the USS Hooper. Ah, Adam Goldberg. <laughs> Adam Goldberg's back. Was that the <laughs> Was that the earliest we've been we, we've been Goldberg in the show? <laughs> well, he he wanted us to know. He wanted us to know. I'm back, baby. <laughs> Adam, come on, get up here and give us a. <laughs> Hello, brother. Whoa! Right. Thin, thin eyes, Goldberg. <laughs> G- Goldberg came up, he pressed the flesh, he did a little dance. Uh, that was really nice. A- absence oh, makes the heart grow fonder, but oh, no th- presence makes it grow uh, <laughs> unfond faster than. I- Sounds like a grit sheet. <laughs> <laughs> you do hear, Adam, the conflicted response of when we invite you up. Oh, that, they, that, they love it. I would it's call like it it's... right down the middle of happiness and, and sadness. <laughs> Sounds like where life lives. Well, I'm happy. I missed you. I thought that you were, uh, I thought you were, you, I assumed you had gone. You're a young man. People go through phases. Maybe you, would, you, were, you exited the phase of total masochism and, <laughs> and sadism. I, yeah, I was right that middle line between happiness and sadness, as uh, someone said. I don't Right, Jeff? Was it Jeff? I'm thinking there's a J. Uh, so what have you been up to? Yeah, give us the uh, give us the Goldberg okay. uh, uh, news. What's going down? Um, business is good at my web company, Adam Goldberg's web company. <laughs> I'm not going to bring shame onto that web company by uh, associating myself with it, which is a self-hating thing to say. But uh, it turns out, you know, the Minecraft server that's dedicated to Harmontown. Uh-huh. They burned me alive. What? I was burned in effigy. Oh. So that's what happened to me. I, w- I was having a nice life. I was in a wrestling-based RPG. I was getting drunk for Passover. I was doing as one does. And then it turns out people burned a symbol of me alive to represent how much they want to play Minecraft with you, which is <laughs> weird. <laughs> So they made, like, out of blocks, they made... Yeah, wooden Adam Goldberg to represent a guy from a podcast. And then they set me on virtual fire. Did it resemble you? Did they make I didn't go there. I don't think I'd be very welcome on a server that would burn a picture of me. So how did you find out this information? They posted it publicly, and I just... Not a lot of upvotes. And the weird thing is, a lot of people didn't attend. Like, Like, there was a huge thing to have a Goldberg roast... Not like a fun comedic roast, which only happens when I throw one for myself. Right, an actual that, Salem roast. Yeah, an actual <laughs> burn the representation of a guy who talks, and that's bad, so Jesus Christ. How you been, Dano? I've been good. <laughs> did, did, I wouldn't know, can't the, follow uh, you on Twitter. Did you see the just... <laughs> <laughs> I blocked you. I blocked Adam. Not on Instagram, though. While we're talking about ratios, that was just the aggressive side of passive. (laughs) That middle line between aggressive 
All right. Well, let's see how tonight goes, and then uh, yeah. All right. I'm not. I'm not. I, I Are you on the fence now? I am. I'm. Of course. I've been. I've been regretful since the day yeah. I, I blocked you. I, <laughs> I, I, thought, I knew I, I did wanted, it in anger. I, I legitimately wanted to know what point you were making when you said, "Now that everyone's." When millennials were eight years old, they said everyone was going to be a millennial, and now that they've grown up, everyone's eight years old. Do you, what, how, do you feel like everyone's eight years old, and what does that mean? Well, I said for you, that's not what, that wasn't what I. They, we, we didn't say everyone. <laughs> we said we said the well, what the children were the future or whatever. Yeah. Right? So when they, when millennials were children, we said they were the future, and now that they're grown up, sure enough, we're all eight years old. Get it? No. <laughs> Because they're uh, thumb-sucking, team-playing Superman fans. As opposed to... As opposed to awesome, sardonic, needlessly rebellious, aging Gen Xers. <laughs> who understand back pain and being outnumbered 10 to 1 by the generations before and after us. <laughs> and, and who admire people who kill themselves instead of... Uh, instead, of, instead of people who become president. Yeah, that was weird. Justin was weird last week. That was a lot of is he, is he, was he going to, is he, is he. Justin will it? never, ever, ever. Justin, <laughs> Justin, Justin would put a gun in his mouth and his ego would shoot it across the room. <laughs> <laughs> just, the ego would just eat the bullet. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah the, the bullet would just get absorbed. Into, and there would be just a turn, the, the gun. He would do a bit with the gun having a silly voice, and that would be. That would be. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want. I don't want to lay down the gauntlet though. And if you are thinking about it, share those thoughts with people. Tell other people because it's. You would be surprised how many people get to that point in your life where it's darker than it is light. You know, and you're on the line between sadness and happiness and you're not seeing oh no i'm trying oh, to be no. joyful about it and not be depressing but it's adam you've their never... life gives you a whole lot of shit and there are other people going through exactly what you've gone through who want to show you the better side of an existence and if you say no to that existence you're not going to see all the greatness that's gonna unfurl for you hmm. Uh, but 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 yes. But also, you should. Yeah, life. A, a scattered applause yeah, for the concept uh, of life. Let's en let's enjoy a rare uh, uh, Adam Goldberg uh, applause break. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was that was very why well is said. The guy I, over us. Why is the guy I call shitty so shitty? Why is this? Oops, <laughs> <it's> trying <laughs> to cover that up. Wow, you, you just you just stepped in your own applause well, break. <laughs> That was that was very well said, but I, as a guy who's researched this, because when I was responding to people on Tumblr, I started to worry, but I wanted to do it right and not wrong. I didn't want anything to blow back on me talking to kids who are sometimes saying, like, I yeah. have these thoughts. So I, so I did a lot of Googling, as a responsible person does, and uh, and, and uh, I, I, the other thing that, 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 people, that, that people should know who have these thoughts is that, you know, the, I think the big mistake that people currently not having those thoughts make when counseling them is using logic to try to like no one wants to be argued out of these these feelings like they want to be able to share them without repercussion you they, can't think your way to clarity because the brain is the brain it it takes all the processing power that you would use to make really logical arguments and it's why yeah even really no one wants smart your feelings to be invalidated and it just puts a wall between you and it's there is no <laughs> this is going to sound like a bad quote out of context but there's no logical reason not to kill yourself um the lo lo like logic is not what's on the table it's not a plus b plus c equals there are legitimate reasons to live it's not something that's going to be intuited logically it's not so yeah you're not waiting to hear someone say but you're so special oh, you're so there important. it is there it is i'm special i'm just gonna you <laughs> feel a horrible gnawing pain and it feels so, so bad that a lot of us can't relate to it because it's if you, you just back into a level of pain that you would have to feel before you were thinking about uh not existing as an alternative to it now those thoughts are we all you know they they move through the species like a cloud and um and individuals have to bear the burden of them and those people need to find someone that they can trust and talk about them so so there you go okay so uh and, and, but so so yes life is wonderful and you'll, you'll have so many children and you'll be so happy but also don't not kill yourself for that reason yeah don't don't, don't wait for that epiphany it's not it's a wonderful life it's a shitty life but um uh also like 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 don't, was, just talk oh, about it you'll like this bit. one in uh in in the muppets continuity kermit the frog caused 9-11 there's a movie about where Kermit the Frog sees what his life would have been like if he was never born, and he goes to New York, and the World Trade Center is standing, and the movie came out in 2002. So, by their logic, if Kermit had, gotten, had just gone back into the swamp and not become a Muppet... Adam Goldberg, everybody! <laughs> okay, that's a good... All right, thank you, Adam. <laughs> yeah. 
he's, he's, he's back. He's on a high. It's good. He, is, he is back, and he means it, man. <laughs> this time, he's got an attitude. Check it out, Freddie. Uh, um, I, well, I don't, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to dwell on it, but I don't understand why. Why does that mean he caused it? Well, it shows what it would be like if it's he. The ultimate reality. The alternate reality without him has both powers. Ah, okay, got it, got it. I missed the part where I was supposed to care about the content of the <laughs> Muppet and Muppets, <laughs> Muppets, <laughs> Flush, Muppets, Superman, <laughs> Mickey Mouse. <laughs> you you don't like the Muppets? <laughs> Yeah, I'm sick of being told how precious they are. Prove it, prove it, prove it. <laughs> it's been 48 years. Pro show me again how precious they are. I remember the 70s. Show me why that's been the case. I remember, I remember. You, you didn't like it back then? No, I liked it back then. Oh, but you're saying it doesn't matter to you now. I'm saying it that does not earn you like 50 years of fucking like, like, oh, look at us. Why am I looking at you? <laughs> Why? Do something. <laughs> and what are you doing that Carrot Top hasn't done and been reviled for? Like, what are you? What are you? You're standing there, looking weird. This is such a weird thing to be so angry about. <laughs> it's, uh, I would never have thought that in a million years. I've known you for so long. I didn't realize this was, you really <laughs> have a lot of fucking just very thinly masked hate and ba just bail for a.